Something as simple as, I have an itch, or I'm thirsty, or I love you. Imagine not being able to say those things to the people that you care about most in your life. One morning, your voice stops. Your thoughts are alive, clear, filled with words you long to say, but your body no longer responds. For thousands living with ALS, or amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, this is a daily struggle, a world where communication feels impossible and isolation takes hold. But now, in a remarkable turn of events, science offers a new path, a technology that could unlock those silent voices, translating mere thoughts into spoken words. It sounds like a scene from a sci-fi film, but it's real. Thanks to pioneering advancements in brain-computer interface technology, we are on the brink of a communication revolution. Today, we delve into this groundbreaking innovation, the science behind it, how it works, and the profound impact it's already having on those who need it most. This is a story of hope, technology, and a future where every voice can be heard. The science behind brain-computer interfaces. Let's start with the basics. What is a brain-computer interface, or BCI? Simply put, it's a device that creates a direct link between the brain and an external machine. Imagine being able to control a computer or a robotic arm with your mind. That's the power of a BCI. Traditionally, these devices have been used to help individuals who are paralyzed regain some level of control over their environment. By reading the brain's electrical signals, BCIs can enable users to move a cursor on a screen or operate a prosthetic limb, bypassing the damaged nerves and muscles that would normally control these actions. But here's where it gets even more fascinating. Recently, researchers have started to use BCIs not just for movement, but to restore speech. For those who have lost the ability to speak, whether because of ALS, a stroke, or other neurological conditions, this technology offers a whole new form of freedom. Even if someone can't physically speak, their brain is still trying to send signals to their mouth and throat muscles to form words. These signals, although they don't result in actual speech, can be picked up by a BCI, interpreted, and then converted into text or synthesized speech. It's like giving a microphone to the mind, allowing thoughts to be heard even when the body can't speak them out loud. The revolutionary case study of Casey Harrell. Now, let's talk about a real life example that's nothing short of inspirational. Meet Casey Harrell, a man who, due to ALS, lost his ability to speak. Before ALS, Casey was full of life, always eager to share his thoughts and feelings. But as the disease progressed, he found himself more and more isolated, unable to communicate with those around him. Imagine how frustrating and heartbreaking that must have been. Not being able to say, I love you to your family, or even express basic needs. But then came a breakthrough. Researchers at the Neuroprosthetics Lab at UC Davis stepped in with an innovative solution, a speech-brain computer interface. This isn't just any BCI, it's specifically designed to interpret the neural signals related to speech. With this device, Casey could think about speaking, and the system would translate those thoughts into text that could be spoken aloud by a computer. And get this, the technology achieved an incredible 97% accuracy rate in translating Casey's thoughts to text. That's not just high tech, that's a game changer. For Casey, this technology has meant reconnecting with his loved ones, sharing his emotions, and regaining a piece of his identity that he thought was lost forever. Recording and decoding brain signals. All right, let's dig into the science of how this all works because it's pretty mind-blowing. The first step in creating a speech BCI is capturing the brain signals. This is done using electrodes implanted in the speech motor cortex, the part of the brain responsible for controlling the muscles involved in speech. Think of these electrodes as tiny antennas tuned into the frequency of your thoughts they pick up the electrical signals generated when the brain tries to communicate, even if the physical pathways for speech are no longer functional. But here's where it gets really interesting. The brain doesn't communicate in a straightforward language that machines can easily understand. Instead, it sends out complex patterns of neural activity corresponding to different sounds or phonemes, which are the basic building blocks of speech. For example, the eshi sound in shu or the k sound in cat. By focusing on these phonemes rather than whole words, the BCI can decode speech more flexibly and accurately. This approach means the system can interpret a vast array of vocabulary, 
even words it hasn't been specifically trained on, by piecing together these fundamental sounds. The role of artificial intelligence in speech decoding. So, how does the system make sense of these complex brain signals? This is where artificial intelligence comes into play. Researchers at UC Davis use advanced machine learning models to decode the brain's neural signals. First, they use n-gram models, a type of AI that predicts the probability of a word based on the previous words in a sentence. Think of it like your smartphone's predictive text, which guesses what word you're going to type next, based on the context of your previous words. But that's just one piece of the puzzle. While n-gram models are great for understanding immediate context, they have limitations. They don't have a deep understanding of the overall sentence structure or meaning. That's why researchers also use large language models, which are trained on vast amounts of text from books, articles, and the internet. These models understand language at a much deeper level, allowing them to refine word choices and create sentences that are not only accurate, but also make sense in a broader context. By combining these two approaches, the BCI can generate coherent, contextually appropriate sentences from the brain's signals, almost like having a translator who speaks the language of the mind, transforming lives with thought-to-speech technology. The impact of this technology on Casey's life, and potentially many others, is nothing short of transformative. Imagine not being able to say a single word for years and then suddenly being able to communicate fluently again. For Casey, this meant more than just practical communication. It was about reconnecting with his loved ones on a personal level, sharing jokes, expressing emotions, and feeling like himself again. It's not just technology. It's a restoration of humanity, a way to bring people back into the conversations they've been missing. But Casey's story is just the beginning. The implications of this technology go far beyond a single individual. For thousands of people living with ALS or other conditions that impair speech, BCIs represent a beacon of hope, a way to break through the silence imposed by their bodies, and the potential applications don't stop there. Imagine using similar technology for stroke victims, people with traumatic brain injuries, or even those who have lost their voice due to cancer. The possibilities are vast and incredibly exciting. Future potential and challenges ahead. While the progress so far has been astounding, there are still hurdles to overcome. One of the main challenges is making this technology more accessible and affordable. Currently, the implantation of electrodes requires surgery, which can be expensive and carries risks. Researchers are exploring less invasive methods, such as using external devices that don't require surgery, but can still capture high-quality brain signals. This could make the technology more widely available to people who need it, not just those who can afford it. There's also the issue of durability. How do we ensure these devices remain effective over years or even decades of use? Developing BCIs that are both robust and reliable is crucial, especially for conditions like ALS, where the need for consistent communication support is ongoing. And let's not forget about ethical considerations, ensuring privacy and security for users who might be concerned about their brain data being accessed or misused the power of innovation in restoring voices. But despite these challenges, the future looks incredibly bright. The advancements in speech BCIs are a testament to the power of innovation and the incredible things we can achieve when science, technology, and compassion come together. For people like Casey Harrell, this technology isn't just a marvel of engineering. It's a lifeline, a way to reclaim their voice and their place in the world. So what does this mean for the rest of us? It's a powerful reminder of the transformative power of technology. Speech BCIs are just one example of how we can use our understanding of the human brain to solve real-world problems and improve lives. And as this technology continues to evolve, who knows what other breakthroughs we might see. Maybe one day, these devices will become as commonplace as smartphones, helping anyone who's lost their ability to speak find their voice again. If you found this story as fascinating and inspiring as we did, let us know what you think in the comments section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. The future of communication is here, and it's giving a voice back to those who need it most. Thanks for watching.